Organized labor has insisted on going ahead with tomorrow's strike to protest against increasing hardship and rising cost of living due to the removal of petrol subsidy. This is despite assurances granted by President Balatinabu last night in his nationwide broadcast that the government will take budgetary allocations for the implementation of the new minimum wage as soon as an agreement is reached by the President, Steering Committee and Labor Unions. After the president got sworn in, uh, in a matter of three weeks, by a fluxion of time, there would, have been no, there would have been no subsidy anyway. And so he seized the moment, and that's exactly what a leader does. He seized the moment, and so you wouldn't have had three weeks to plan for palliatives. The palliatives are not things you just roll out at the drop of a hat. Uh, politics are things that are planned and things that take time. I mean, even what he's about to do now, I mean, it's, 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 it's not overnight. Uh, they normally, you know, uh, midterm, I mean, small to midterm uh, uh, measures. And uh, so that, 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 uh, that, that, that is to say that there was no way and no how anyone could have planned and rolled out the kind of politics we are rolling out now in a matter of two weeks. We have a president, a listening president, an engaging president. A president who will want to have a conversation and react. And he's doing that. He's really genuinely, honestly doing it. So what we are talking and what the appeal that we are making out to, just not the leaders, all Nigerians, please understand what is going on. Please give us that support that is needed and required. We are working. We are trying to change things. NLC leader Ajero and his TUC counterpart Osifo spoke shortly after talks between organized labor and the federal government to avert the protest became inconclusive, noting that the peaceful rally would hold in line with its shadow. We just adjourned to listen to Mr. President's uh, speech and then to continue our conversation tomorrow by 12 noon. Our peaceful rally will go on as scheduled. Uh, you know, even if we didn't have this problem and we decide to hold a rally, we still hold our rallies. So this rally has been fixed for a second. And we'll go ahead. We've uh, had an engagement where government at all did a presentation of what they think uh, could be an alternative uh, to PMS and also what could be the palliatives. And um, we felt that because they told us that the president is going to make, make a broadcast today, and in that broadcast as well, that some of these areas are going to be touched. So we felt it was wise for us to, to retract and we will listen to what the president has to say, and we internalize it, we analyze it, then we now meet tomorrow uh, to further our conversation. Meanwhile, the meeting of the steering committee had just commenced 12 noon earlier, 1st of August. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.